Bryce Canyon is one of Utah's five breathtaking national parks, and some argue it to be one of the best national parks in the country. People from all over the world travel to see this sandstone beauty in all its glory. Long time no see YouTube. I've been traveling a bit more and I'm eager to show you places that I've been and to discuss, share my experiences and everything. So today we are going to talk about the wonderful, the amazing Bryce Canyon. Utah is a very slept on state. It is so beautiful. It has so many national parks. There is so much to see and do in terms of nature and hikes and outdoor activities in Utah that I don't think many people actually appreciate. I know I didn't appreciate that. Mm -mm, not at all. I can almost say that I had a very life-changing experience traveling to Utah. When you travel to Bryce Canyon, my personal opinion, you should start from the last point and work your way back. New peak, new stop, new views. <laughs> Starting from the top, you have this amazing view of not only Bryce Canyon, but Utah as well. Up there is north and you can see the snow-capped mountains and we believe that is actually Salt Lake City. And then <clears throat> as you move in this direction, we see more snow-capped mountains which are probably the Rockies. You can see everything <clears throat> from up here. Another unique feature about Bryce Canyon are its hoodoos and its windows. I think they're called hoodoos. I might be mistaken, hoodoos or woodoos, but I'm pretty sure it's hoodoos. Hoodoos are irregular shaped pillars throughout Bryce Canyon and windows are basically holes in these rocks. As I said before, the snow, the pines, and all the different colors. You know, it's, it, it's, it's what you see on a postcard, but when you're actually there and you're experiencing it, it's incredibly hard to put into words and to describe this feeling. You know what the most common activity is in these national parks? Hiking. The Queen's Garden is a great, moderately safe, less strenuous hike down into the gardens. Also, it's less than a mile. The trail is quite nice, actually. It's very wide. And yeah, it seems very safe. I think the only issue could be the rocks sticking out, you could trip. But as I said, because it's wide, you won't fall anywhere. <clears throat> I haven't seen anything too dangerous yet. If you are a novice hiker like moi, then I will say that the Queen's Garden is a great way for you to see different sides of Utah and Bryce Canyon. <laughs> See what's great about this is that the sun's setting and we're getting lots of different shadows as they go over <clears throat> the canyon. I think we're getting close to the bottom. The hike said 0.8 of a mile, but we're still hiking. It's been like 45 minutes. Now, 
Why is it called the Queen's Garden? Well, rumor has it she would hike down this trail every day and plant roses for her deceased husband. Oh. Totally making that up. <laughs> totally made that up. Oh, but that's cool. It turns out that at the end of this journey, you'll encounter Hoodoo in the shape of Queen Victoria. Now, is that the best part of this trail? No, not at all. But is it interesting to see? Yeah, I mean, it's a hoodoo in the shape of Queen Victoria. It's kind of cool, right? 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 So that was it. The Queen. We saw her <clears throat> at the top, posing like she's in vogue. A little bit underwhelming in my opinion, but the hike, very good. In terms of beauty and uniqueness, Bryce Canyon is one of the best experiences you can have in Utah. You have to check out Bryce Canyon. It is a must do for any person traveling there. Well, technically any national park, I believe is a must do for anyone traveling in Utah, but Bryce Canyon is a must do when it comes to beauty, uniqueness, hoodoos and voodoos. Well guys, that's it for this video. I do hope you enjoyed seeing Bryce Canyon. If you've never been, again, I highly recommend it if you're ever in that part of the country. But anyway, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.